Hello everyone, welcome back to a mod review. Today we will be taking a look at lots of new mods. All of the mods are public and the links can be found down below in the description. Up first we'll be taking a look here at a player stranger. And this door can be found under the cars category. It's a Polaris 900 XP with a starting price of $14,000, 45 horsepower, and it does have lots of options here for the front bumper. We do have a winch and a few different options and a light bar up top. We do have lots of different wheel options, a few that really give a nice big stance, uh, big off-road tires, and then we do have the regular stock ones. As we do take a full walk around on you guys and see this is pretty sweet. I do remember one of these back in FS17 and it's nice to see this over here guys and see great detail and a great looking mod. Once we hop here on the inside, top speed of 108 miles per hour. That is pretty fast here and we do have some straps there. It looks like the back tailgate doesn't work uh, but that is okay. Wow, this thing looks pretty cool. Now I will have to say the first person camera view uh, does rotate around here so that's why I won't be hopping on the inside. I'm really excited to be back here doing a review. There have been quite a few mods that have recently been released. Up next, we'll be taking a look here at a La Ferrari. This can be found here under the new uh, category here in the store. Uh, $10,000 here with lots of color change options. Lots of new colors, uh, which is uh, pretty sweet here. And uh, the design color is actually the rotor, which is pretty neat. And then you do have a few tuned engines. As we do a full walk around you guys and see this is pretty sweet. Look at the detail there. Look at those brake rotors and uh, the uh, brake uh, calipers. This thing looks pretty cool here. Really am excited that we just have uh, more sport cars here in the game. Top speed of 100 miles per hour here. We'll check out all the lights. Reverse lights. Everything does work here. The La Ferrari is very expensive uh, but it's just nice to have here. We do have a somewhat detailed camera view. Looks like the controls are the opposite of what they usually are. But let's take this here for a spin. Let me know down below in the comments guys what is your favorite mod I featured today. There's been quite a few mods and this thing has a really good acceleration. Just look at that. It's a really quick here which is awesome. Now I am trying to do these reviews as more and more mods come out. Not every week there will be a review. I really don't want to do one every week just when there's enough uh, to do uh, these reviews. Overall one pretty cool uh, mod here and it's just great uh, to showcase all the cool mods here in Farm Sim. Really do like the uh, mirrors on it uh, as well as just the overall body lines. Up next we'll be taking a look here at a street bike which is a Kawasaki and I did see this before and I'm not sure if I have featured it in a review but it was recently released the ZX-10R and it's the Ninja $14,000 uh, here no store options and 203 horsepower this has quite a lot of horsepower uh, for only being two wheels here look at the detail to this thing the uh, player sits on it really realistic as well which is awesome just look at this thing guys 186 Six miles per hour definitely could get up to that working mirrors everything is really detailed on this as well for being a two-wheel a motorcycle and farm sim it's really good up next we'll be taking a look here at a Lincoln Continental this is I believe just a Lizard Continental rebranded and you guys can see $35,000 here there's quite a few options and it's the uh, basic in game colors here you could get a fan a few things up front and uh, you could get a trailer hitch as we take a full walk around you guys and see this is a pretty nice older car and it's nice that it's a lizard because I do believe this is over on console. Top speed of 80 miles per hour here reverse lights everything does work let's actually check out uh, the uh, turn signals oh they're on the uh, side of the grill there which is pretty neat and I will have to say it's a very wide kind of short wheelbase car which is interesting and on the inside working mirrors gauges and steering wheel gas pedal works here let's check the brake pedal and that's pretty cool and look at that guys we have a nice working fan here on this wow that's pretty neat up next we will be taking a look here at one pretty cool mod this is the uh, TLX 2020 the single cab version now this has lots of different beds you could go along with it here which is pretty cool starting price at $28,000 it's color changeable here now you could do two-tone there's so many options here you could do uh, lights and so uh, cool things sport uh, wheels and there's also quite a lot of uh, different beds for it as well 
as we take a full walk around you guys and see this is pretty sweet we do have a nice big LED light bar and in kind of a strobe light bar up top we have the uh, dump body here on it one of the best dump bodies I've seen I really do like it a lot great detail and I do believe this is also on console now when we hop here on the inside the mirrors fold out lots of detail the little things in this truck just look so uh, so awesome here we'll just check all the lights everything works here on it which is nice a full detailed a uh, first person view with the mirrors uh, gauges everything is awesome let's actually see and uh, every, if we uh, turn the lights on you guys and see the gauges everything lights up there and we do have a working shifter as well which is a pretty neat thing as well wow this thing is awesome big shout out goes out to 82 studios for this and uh, definitely it will be using this in some upcoming videos up next, we'll be taking a look at three trucks by Wood Meadow Farming, two dump trucks and a service truck. They're all located here under the trucks category. Both dump trucks have the same exact options. One's the Durastar, and the other one is a Terrastar, both internationals. And then we do have a Terrastar service truck. So we'll look at one of these. They're the uh, same store options with the colors and everything. And you do have the dump bed and the uh, plow frame and a few different logos. And for the service truck, everything's the same. Plow mount, you get actually get a few uh, logos on it as well as we take a full walk around you guys and see pretty sweet truck i am a big fan here of these internationals a uh, kind of medium sized dumb trucks here bigger than like a 550 uh, but smaller than the uh, big big ones here but you guys can see pretty cool truck Top speed of 51 miles per hour here. It does have full strobe lights on it. A few here in the back and a few up top there. I really do like that. That's such a neat feature about these trucks. And this thing looks awesome here. Now it does have a first person view, but it's not too detailed. Overall one really cool truck. I am a big fan of this dump body. It's simple, but it gets the job done. Up next, we'll be taking a look here at the other international. Everything's the same, just a different cab on it. And you guys can see it looks great. The mod reviews here have been really popular over the last few episodes here, which is awesome. And I've really been putting a lot more work into trying to find a lot more mods than just a five or six for these reviews. And the service body here looks pretty cool. Really do like the service logo and everything does work here on it. Top speed of 51 miles per hour. Now this does have some pretty cool strobe lights. Lots and lots of extra strobe lights as well. And this thing looks so sweet going down the road. Look at that. And if we press X, the stabilizers work here and also their mouse controls let's see if we could get uh, this to work here so you guys since the, the uh, crane works there and I believe that the uh, winch does work yes it does have a full winch on it which is awesome up next we will be taking a look here at a few day cabs we have the 850 here and a Freightliner I think we'll just kind of look at them both here in the store up first, we have the 850. We do have a hook and then just a regular 850 here. Very similar uh, to previous ones. We do have some other uh, signs on it. Pull bar, uh, three point in the front, and it's color changeable. We'll take a look here at the Freightliner Sentry. I did a review on a very similar Freightliner, but this one here is different. You guys can see lots of cool options. Single stack, dual. Uh, you have uh, the roof. You have so many options here. Really do like that about uh, Farming Simulator uh, 19. All of the mods have so many options here. As we take a closer walk around you guys and see one sweet truck. It is a triaxle, pretty big one. And this thing looks awesome here. Wow, it looks nice. Once we hop here on the inside, top speed is 62 miles per hour. Everything works here on it. We do have a few extra lights here. First person view, everything works. It's very detailed. Just look at this. I definitely want to do some more hauling. Maybe a trucking series I think would be pretty cool. Now, if you guys have not already, I do recommend you go give me a follow over on Instagram. I post every single day over there uh, some pretty cool sneak peeks and updates about the channel. Uh, taking a look here at the Freightliner Day Cab, it's one pretty sweet truck. Really do like it. The uh, frame is color changeable. We do have the upgraded wheels and tires on this. Uh, top speed is 71. And on the inside, digital speedometer, working gauges, everything works. Wow, just look at this Day Cab. Such a nice uh, semi. Up next, we'll be taking a look here at a case wheel loader. 
In the store, this can be found under the wheel loader category. $175,000, 8021G uh, here. Lots of different options here. Really do like all the tire options as well. Lots of different Michelins, which is pretty neat. And you can actually get some different logos, different paint schemes, uh, which is awesome here. Really do like that the designs, you guys, since you could really change up the entire thing, uh, which was pretty nice. As we take a full walk around, you guys can see this is pretty sweet. Now, the bucket does come with it under the front loader category. You guys can see there are three straps here on it. And you do also have the option of the teeth on it, which look awesome. Look at this thing. This thing looks pretty cool. Probably one of the best wheeled loaders I've seen in farms. And we do have the working animation there for the door. We got beacon lights. And on the first person view, you guys can see everything's detailed. When you press X, this window actually opens up there. That's so, so cool. And we do have a cover as well, which means you could just open and close that. So that's awesome. It has so many cool features. Last up, we'll be taking a look here at quite a few placeable wands. All these can be found under the placeable category. We have a Karcher pressure washer here. We have lots of different fence pieces. We got uh, American... Uh, mailboxes we do have a gate here which is a pretty neat, uh, neat one we should be able to toggle to open you guys can see really cool gates uh, which looks nice a uh, pretty cool, cool kind of old-fashioned fence here for a farm we do have a gate here for it the gate opens up here a little bit of sound animation we do have a few fence pieces and finally we do have this pretty neat dog house a little bit different than what is in there and finally the last one we are looking at here today is this uh, awesome garage here look at this pretty cool we do have an office area over here which is pretty neat we'll uh, get it opened a little office area and it goes right here to the garage so inside here you guys can see pretty awesome we got doors on either side here really do like the roll-up style doors lots of detail here on the inside we do have jacks that fully work as well which is awesome you guys can see that all does work here in overall pretty cool and I just remembered we do have this one final trailer here which is located under the low loader category it is pretty sweet here and it does have ramps here in the back I hope everyone enjoyed today's pretty big review here on the Nebraska Lands USA map thanks for watching stay tuned for the next one and subscribe for more